Hi, I'm going to show you how to make a voting system using a bunch of micro bits to cast votes and a Esprino Pixel.js board to, um, to kind of tally up the responses and display them live on the screen. We're going to do this using something called Google Eddystone, which is a way to broadcast URLs, so um, web addresses, over Bluetooth Low Energy. And this can be done by the um, BBC Microbit. So let's let's have a look at how you actually set the Microbit up to do this. First off, you go to the Microsoft MakeCode website, and um, by default, you have a radio package here. But this radio package can't handle Bluetooth. So if you click on Advanced and click Add Package, you can just enter Bluetooth here. Hit Enter, and the Bluetooth package will be shown. And you just install that. You can't have Bluetooth and radio at the same time, but just click OK and you're fine. So what you need to do is just go into Bluetooth and you find the Bluetooth Advertise URL block. This block broadcasts the URL, and we don't actually care what the URL is at the moment. What we're going to do is we're going to add a hash to the end of it. And this hash is usually used to, um, to show where on a web page you want to go to. But otherwise, it's completely harmless. So what we're going to do is add the hash and then the thing we want to vote for. And now um, we'll just make sure we do this only when a button is pressed. And we'll just uh, display something on the screen when we do this. So let's, uh, let's do this and, and actually write a 1 in there. And then we'll duplicate this for button B and we'll vote for number 2 when this is pressed. Um, so that we can vote for two different things really easily. So let's draw two on the on the screen. And that's it. So all we have to do is click download. Um, download to your microbit device. Obviously you want to download to more than one device so that you can um, uh, so that you can actually properly vote with it. So okay, this is done. Um, so now let's go to the Esprino Web IDE. So this is uh, what you'd get if you follow the Getting Started Guide for Pixel.js. You literally just go to esprino.com forward slash IDE if you have a computer like a Mac that'll, um, that'll have web Bluetooth installed. Uh, and then you have a completely wireless connection to this Pixel.js device. So we can um, press the buttons on the micro bits and we can display the thing that we voted for, one or two. And um, we can then ask the Pixel.js device what things it can see on Bluetooth. So um, if we say find devices, print. A few seconds later, we should see a bunch of devices out here. Um, and we'll see that some of these devices, uh, it's only picked up one, um, one microbit at the moment. But uh, some of the devices have this service called FEAA. And that is a uh, Google Eddystone service. So what we're going to do with our code over here is uh, we scan for devices. And any device that has this FEAA service, we're going to save it. And then every so often, every 500 milliseconds, so twice a second, we basically go through and tally them all up. We look at this, um, this service data, which is in here, um, which actually contains the URL. Um, as well as some other things. But if I show you what's in there, um, so if I just run two string with that buffer, you can see that we've got the make code that, um, that we, uh, we'd entered, slash a, which is actually corresponds to dot com. And then right at the end, we have the hash and the thing that we voted for. So basically, we just take off the stuff after the hash and we just tally up the votes for it. And then we display the votes for one and the votes for two on the screen. Uh, in a big font that's aligned to the center. And we just have one on the left and one on the right, and then we write it to the screen. So if I upload this, and uh, let's just clear the screen so we can see this. Now, if I, um, currently we've got one and one, because obviously one of these is voting for one, one's voting for two. If you make them both vote for, for one, after a few seconds when this all updates, we'll see that this changes. Um, obviously, if we flip them both to two, we'll see a few seconds later when everything updates, this will again. So, um, you know, this is, is quite a fun voting system. Um, 
this Pixel Desk board has got Arduino connectors on the back of it. So you can actually um, connect things like motors to it or bigger displays or all kinds of stuff uh, if you want to do something a bit more interesting with this information. You also don't have to vote for just two different things. So um, if we have a look at the, um, at the Microbit website, um, right, so this is the Esprino website on this particular project. Uh, down here, we should see um, something else you can do. If you um, enter this code using blocks, you can then use the left and right buttons to step between votes. Um, you can step from naught all the way to nine, and then you can show a histogram on the, um, on the screen. And in fact, all you have to do for the histogram is take this code here and replace the, um, the code that we had here. So if I do that and um, upload again, we should see a, a histogram. Uh, obviously both are voting two, so we've got two for two at the moment. But obviously if I make them both one, we'll see them both voting for one. And if I spread them out, then they'll go side by side. So um, you could see very easily, you could use this for all kinds of things, uh, quizzes or, um, or even just sort of to, to see what random distributions and things look like. So um, yeah, that's how you use a Esprino Pixel.js board with the micro bit. This will also work with other Bluetooth Esprino boards like Puck.js or the MDBT42 breakout. Um, so you've got a lot of options with, with what you do with this. If you like this, please subscribe because there are loads of videos on doing things with Esprino microcontrollers and JavaScript and um, more will be added every week or so. Thanks for watching.